Welcome to this course on transition metal organometallics in catalysis and biology. We have been uh, discussing alkene and alkyne oligomerization reaction in the past few lectures. In this context, we have uh, covered uh, two main reaction. One is uh, uh, alkene uh, ethylene uh, oligomerization. alkene and alkyne oligomerization and in this context we have covered uh, two reactions. First one is ethylene oligomerization. Uh, this uh, we have covered uh, uh, from uh, the perspective of shop uh, process. Shop is a shell higher olefin process. And uh, this uh, uh, we have uh, covered using uh, uh, the nickel catalyst, nickel hydride is an active species is an active species for the catalyst uh, for ethylene oligomerization. And uh, uh, this ethylene oligomerization came into prominence uh, with regard to the shop process particularly for finding a synthetic route to producing. Uh, detergents uh, and this was achieved by oligomerization of ethylene with, it, with a nickel catalyst uh, followed by two other important processes which were added to it. One is ethylene alkene isomerization and alkene metathesis reactions which together uh, oligomerization, isomerization and metathesis all together constitute the shop process, cell higher olefin process and this was primarily used for preparing. Uh, 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 the starting material uh, for uh, synthesis of detergents you know uh, and this has been uh, discussed in uh, great detail uh, mm, with respect to both uh, ethylene oligomerization as a part of this topic as well as with respect to uh, olefin metathesis uh, which was the topic which uh, that was discussed in the earlier lectures. Uh, we had also uh, uh, discussed uh, ethylene trimerization uh, this uh, ethylene trimerization is uh, primarily used to produce uh, one hexane primarily used to produce uh, one hexane using tantalum 3 catalyst Uh, and which was obtained by uh, from tantalum 5, five salts by presence of alkylating reagent. And this uh, also we have uh, uh, discussed in great details particularly the mechanism uh, of its formation uh, highlighting the main advantage of this process uh, which is about the selectivity of this reaction. Today we are going to discuss about uh, two other reactions, uh, two other reactions. Uh, one is uh, propene dimerization and the fourth one and the uh, fourth one is uh, uh, cyclotrimerization of uh, butene butadiene of butadiene uh, 
the, uh, these two are very interesting processes that we would be talking about today and both involves uh, a nickel catalyst that carry out uh, these two uh, uh, trimerization uh, of uh, propene and cyclotrimerization of butadiene uh, uh, reactions. So, uh, uh, today's uh, main uh, lecture with this highlight on uh, these two reactions, one is uh, propane dimerization as, uh, as well as cyclotrimerization of butadiene. Uh, earlier uh, on in a previous two lecture, we have uh, discussed the above two reaction, ethylene oligomerization using again a nickel catalyst and second one that we had uh, discussed in our earlier uh, reaction was ethylene trimerization to one hexenes using a tantalum catalyst. So, with this uh, uh, we are going to focus on the first reaction which is propane dimerization reaction using nickel. And, uh, 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 this is using uh, nickel. Now, this process uh, uh, in which uh, propene dimerizes uh, to give uh, uh, hexenes, uh, various types of branched hexenes, this is called uh, dimer sol process. the process in which propene dimerizes and gives branched hexene. and gives branch exchange is called is called dimersal process. And the reaction is depicted as follows. To n using a catalyst gives where 2 n equals x plus y plus z x gives x moles of Xin of this type plus y moles of plus z moles of now these uh, are important intermediates uh, the, these are important intermediates uh, as uh, 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 they can uh, these branched uh, hexenes can be hydrogenated to give high grade petrol of anti uh, property branched hexenes. are hydrogenated to give petrol of high antinoch properties. to give petrols of high antinoch properties. Now, uh, uh, 
Now, let us uh, take a look at uh, uh, the mechanism for this uh, dimerization of the propane reaction. The mechanism of it. And that is uh, uh, given as follows. The catalyst precursor is of the type nickel L X type ligand with a allyl. Now, allyl moiety bound to nickel. So, this is a nickel 2 complex and an allyl moiety bound to nickel can be viewed as such given over here. One sigma bond, another pi bond as is uh, the one shown over here that react with a propane to give nickel x sigma pi complex. So, what really happens over here is that this pi bond of the allyl gets uh, replaced uh, by this olefinic pi bond and uh, uh, this eta 3 becomes uh, sigma and pi over here as is shown over here. So, now this reacts with an olefin to give this nickel 2 complex X, where this olefin uh, first undergoes migratory insertion into the nickel alkyl sigma bond to give the following complex as is shown over here. actually to be more accurate uh, these undergo migratory insertion and this uh, comes in coordinate that that is the more accurate representation and this undergoes this uh, to give this inserted complex which then beta eliminates this is alpha and beta and there is a hydrogen over here. Beta eliminates to give the corresponding alkene branched hexene as is shown over here.
on that then reacts with another propene molecule. Again a similar kind of coordination insertion happens where this insert into the nickel hydride bond and this comes and coordinates to give the product as is shown with a nickel bound now to an isopropyl moiety and an alkene. Note that the isopropyl moiety is obtained by insertion of this hydride into uh, insertion of this into this hydride gives you the isopropyl moiety. Now, the reaction of this with propene gives nickel Now again as was observed in earlier case, this undergoes insertion uh, into the isopropyl moiety and this olefin coordinates there giving rise to this uh, compound. as is shown here and this uh, further beta eliminates to give this nickel hydride complex uh, with uh, uh, alkene and the where the product which are formed is this branched alkene as is shown over here. So, uh, trimerization of propane then uh, leads to the formation of variety of alkene. Uh, through this uh, uh, process uh, as is uh, shown over here. Now to note L for the catalyst is uh, phosphine and X is to note over here that L is uh, L and X are shown uh, here, L is a phosphine and X is a ethyl trialuminum uh, chloride uh, 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 moiety. So, with this uh, uh, we show uh, how this uh, uh, dimerization of propene gives rise to branching uh, uh, branch hexanes, which when hydrogenation uh, uh, gives uh, this uh, anti NOx grade high uh, pro, uh, petrol and uh, this involves a uh, uh, nickel hydride as the active species that carry out uh, uh, this uh, dimerization of propane process efficiently. So, The actual catalyst
catalyst is is a nickel hydride species at uh, the catalyst Uh, uh, the one which is uh, uh, which is eta three allyl nickel p c y three b r. E T A L C L 2, this is the active catalyst uh, shows displays high turnover number. number of around 60,000 per second and these numbers the high turnover number is comparable to enzyme activity. For example, catalase exhibits high turnover number of 1 lakh per second. So, this uh, uh, is a interesting uh, uh, compound where uh, nickel is bound, nickel is bound to uh, one eta uh, allele, one uh, cyclohexyl group, one bromide and uh, this uh, uh, Lewis acidic ET3 LCL2. Uh, and uh, these uh, sort of uh, is an effective species for dimerization of propene and uh, that uh, gives various uh, kinds of branched uh, hexenes which uh, upon uh, hydrogenation gives high quality petrol uh, having anti knock properties. So, uh, uh, today uh, we have looked into the mechanism as to how this uh, branching of propene occurs and uh, these uh, mainly go through uh, these uh, uh, nickel hydride active species uh, then uh, forming the coordinated propene which then undergoes uh, insertion into uh, the metal uh, alkyl bond to give the branched uh, propene. So, with this uh, we uh, come to the uh, conclusion of today's uh, uh, lecture. Uh, which was uh, primarily on this important reaction of uh, dimerization of propane. We had also looked uh, at this uh, reaction in context of the other two alkene oligomerization reaction for shop uh, process as well as this uh, uh, ethylene uh, trimerization reaction to give one hexene. Uh, now, with this uh, we move on to the uh, next reaction which is cyclotrimerization of uh, butadiene and uh, we are going to be looking at uh, how this uh, uh, catalyst is uh, used uh, uh, for making uh, uh, this uh, butadiene uh, trimer uh, uh, when we take up the discussion uh, in the next uh, uh, class. 
So, with that uh, I conclude uh, today's uh, lecture in which we had uh, discussed about uh, this uh, one particular reaction which is propene dimerization reaction and this is called the dimersal process uh, and have uh, is used to make branch texanes which upon uh, uh, hydrogenated give high grade anti knocking uh, uh, and uh, quality uh, of uh, petrol and has uh, use in automobile uh, um, uh, industry. So, with this uh, we come to the end of today's lecture and uh, I thank you uh, for being with me in this lecture and I look forward uh, to discuss more uh, on uh, this olefin oligomerization reaction as we meet uh, next. Till then, goodbye and thank you.